All right, let's see. I think we'll go with this one. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Matthew, this is Let's Talk Tools. Today we've got this Ryobi 18 volt quarter inch impact driver that we're going to be putting to the test. Um, we'll go over some of the specs. This is model number P235A. So hopefully after we've gone over the specs, we do a little review. We are also gonna put it to the test with, uh, with this telephone pole, see if we can drive these uh, three inch deck screws, a six inch Spax, screw, an 8 inch timber lock screw, a 4 inch and a 6 inch lag bolt. So hopefully after all of this, at the end of this video, you'll be able to decide, you know, is this impact something that you want to pick up? And I'll post links in the description on where you can get this tool at this moment as of recording. So let's dive in close, go over the specs, and then we'll go to the test. Alright guys, so now that we've brought you in close, let's go over the specs of this real B impact driver. Um, we do have here model number P235A. Um, and like I said before, this did come in the kit with a half inch drill driver, two 1.5 amp hour batteries, a charger and a bag. But as the, of the recording of this video, you can get this tool with a 1.5 amp hour battery, a charger, and a bag from Home Depot for $59. So I'll go ahead and put a description down, put a, sorry, a link down in the description for this item. And after all of this, if you decide this is the tool for you, then great, you can uh, use that link. Um, I am not in any way affiliated, um, so I should go ahead and put it out there that I'm not this isn't an affiliate link so this is purely for um, just information for you guys if this is something that you do want to try out but let's go over these specs like I said model number P235A now with this impact driver there is um, no speed selector this is just a variable variable trigger Um, it is a brushed tool. You are going to get up to 1,800 inch-pounds of torque. You will get up to 3,200 impacts per minute. There is going to be an onboard uh, bit holder. Uh, it does have this magnetic tray, so you can put any fasteners, um, extra bits on here. And that magnet is actually um, fairly strong, so it's not really going to go anywhere. It does also have this LED light, uh, same as the the half-inch drill driver. That'll come on when you press that trigger, and once you release it, that light will go off. Let's see what else? It uh, does not have a quick eject or a quick insert. Call it. Now um, you do have to pull this, call it forward, insert the bit, and let it go, and it's. And it's in. And when I say quick insert, call it. Um, I've got the Rio BP two three eight right here, and this is a quick insert call it. So without having to move that call it, that bit is in, which is pretty nice. Um, now it's not really a deal breaker for this tool not having it. Um, it just does make the um, bit change a little bit faster. Uh, but yeah guys, so now that we've gone over all the specs, we can move over to this telephone pole and start getting those screws in there. Alright guys, so we're here at the uh, telephone pole. Uh, first, we're going to start out with these uh, 3 inch ex uh, exterior deck screws. So 3 inch exterior deck screw, this is a kind of basic task for this impact driver and that's in okay so we're gonna move over now to the six inch Spax screw and we'll go right here let's go ahead and get that pre-started 
Okay, ready? Go. Alright, that one's in. And then let's go ahead and take it out. Ready? All right, and now let's move on. Now we're gonna move on to the eight inch timber lock screw. Get that in right here. Okay, ready? Get that pre-started, go. All right, that's in. And let's take it out. Oh. Slipped off there. And that's out. Okay. All right, guys, so next, we're gonna move on to the four inch lag bolt. Uh, we are going to be using uh, these Makita socket adapters. Okay. Let's go ahead and get this right here. Okay, ready? And that's in. Went a little okay, so now let's move over to this six inch lag bolt right here ready and we're in all right guys so we did use it for our power battery for all of the all the tests and we used up one bar of it, so about 25% of the battery. Let's go ahead and take this out. All right guys, so that's gonna wrap it up for this one. Hopefully you enjoyed what you saw here in the video. Um, we've got more videos like this coming out uh, here in the next coming weeks so if you don't want to miss those make sure you are subscribed to the channel hit that bell subscribe. notification so that way you'll be notified the next time i upload another video if you can drop a like down at the bottom comment down below if there's anything you'd like to see uh, done differently i've got lots more telephone pole to use so we might try to keep using some telephone pole until we use that up and maybe move on to something different but yeah guys so thanks again for stopping by and we'll see you in the next one